Hello, people! Welcome to Finny VR, and this is H3VR. Guys, before we start, I do want to say a huge, huge thank you for uh, all your hard work that you do for the channel. Thumbs in the video up, commenting, sharing, uh, just doing all that awesome stuff. It really does help the channel grow a lot more. So, with that said, Let's have a look at what Treats and On has in store for us today. Right then, I always love this moment in H3 VR where you're just about to turn around when you get to the indoor range to see what Treats has added. And look at these bad boys. Wow. Well, if this isn't sort of futuristic and really, really old, it's a nice, lovely little match of these things. But that is a very, very futuristic gun, isn't it? Look at the double triggers on it. Would you need two fingers to fire it? That is just colossal. It certainly looks powerful, doesn't it? <laughs> Made in California. Uh, look at that. Look at that. A really nice sheen on the handle as well there. Just on the light. Beautiful. Mwah. How are you then? Let's see what she's made of, though. Um, so I've been watching a little bit of the dev blog as well. I do sometimes uh, multitask, so I might not 100% know how this works, but got a nice array of bullets here as well. So you've got, got a tracer, turbo penetrator, slugger, swarm shot, fragmentation, uh, proximity mine. I like the idea of that. Let's pick one of them up. I'll do that. Do that, and then I think. Oh no! Oh. Come on. Anyway, we've got a few of them in there, so we'll just do that for now. Bang them in, and you press down on the thumb pad to charge it, and then that is in Uber mode. So let's grab our distance. I don't think we'll need the board for this one, because I want to see. I think it's like a exploding proximity mine. So let's just have it in the corner here. Where's the big butter boom? Do we? <gasps> yeah. <laughs> Got a wall over there. Nope. Yes. Right. Uh, can we explode one with the other one? Yeah, I think we can. Yeah, excellent. <laughs> so, I believe, actually, let's try and pull this out as well. Oh, I'm going to have an uncharged one. So that uncharges eventually. And I didn't realise as well, that I've been playing this game for quite a while now, but you don't have to press that back button to get the uh, bullets out. You can just shuck it backwards like that and it comes straight out. So that's the proximity mines. Oh, I forgot to tell you as well, I may have a bit of tracking issue because I've only got the one sensor at the moment. Uh, I took it over to a friend's last weekend, who lives quite far away, and left the power plug there. So, until it arrives in the post, I'm stuck with a one sensor setup. So sometimes the tracking might go ever so slightly when I'm not looking in that direction, just like that. But we'll have to deal with that, won't we? Uh, turbo penetration, now that really sounds... I think it's going to do some damage and I think the uh, trackpad's starting to go a little bit on this as well. Right, let's put them in there and see how she fires. Oh, wibbly wibbly wobbly. Ugh. God damn one sensor set up. Where it is? That's because I'm not in the centre. Right. Wow, that looked pretty cool. I've actually charged the battery now. This. Wow. Which definitely makes a difference to the gun. Like. <laughs> nice. 
Uh, it's such a shame that you can't see the 3D effects of them particles because they do look so cool. <laughs> look at that. The gun even starts to steam because it's just that powerful. Not yet, eh? And I think if we carry on going, ooh, this should start to try a different bullet or. Oh, there we go, look at that. Starting to steam just like the minigun. And then he has even stated as well in his dev blog that when you are firing it, this will start eventually be shooting off just shards of the barrel and you'll just knock the gun and the gun won't even work I presume I presume yeah that's all I can do <coughs> and it gets less accurate I think. It literally Can it get any hotter? I don't think it can Oh yeah look So now it's just It's just knackered now So cool. <laughs> Look at that. It's a thumbnail and a half, isn't it? Whee! <sighs> yeah, I should really be for chucking the gun away, show you its full potential, so I believe. This is some sort of thermostat thing you see pop out there and then you replace it with that like that but I think I think this this gun's a godder really it's it's knackered I think let's try I don't know seems to have uh, fixed it so yeah Pretty cool gun. Let's have a look at this antique aged gun. It looks really old. I haven't actually had a look to see what it's even called in there, so I'm pretty sure there's going to be a few people out there who know what that's called. And maybe I've even a little bit of a backstory to it, so if you do, let us know down below. And I'm just going to figure out how this reloads first. So, yeah, you pull that bit back. Nice. I'll pop this in here push it down yep what's the new clip system ah oh, I forgot to store one though because <sighs> everybody needs more than 10 bullets for a gun don't they so pull back on that slot that into there push him down that is such a cool mechanic I absolutely love that clip mechanic right bash into your wall Pop that back. Let's see how this fires, eh? <laughs> fires. Pretty good. Pretty good indeed. Oh, I'm liking the accuracy on this gun.
Hm. Oh, off shot there, eh? That is uh, possibly one of the most accurate guns in H3VO. And I did it again. <coughs> Hello. <laughs> it's a good practice on reloading, and I actually really love doing that. <laughs> it's so cool. It's nearly better than the blade gun. Right, not quite though. Not quite. Come on now, let's, let's get serious about that. <laughs> oh my word. Oh, I like this gun. That's really distracting though, the bullet. Whoever designed it in that way. Didn't really think things through. That's lovely, that. Just V. Not gonna say it. Not gonna say it. Look at that. Actually, I wonder what it's like. <laughs> Free fire. Load the shot in one go. Yeah, makes sense. Makes sense. Look at that. Right. A few more. Now I think we'll have a look at some of the changes to the settings. Wow, I mean, if this was a multiplayer game, I'd probably use this gun in the game, to be fair. I mean, that is accuracy. Um, finally, let's take a look at just a few of some of the option panel changes, not them all, because I just don't have the time, but let's have a look. So, let's have a look at quick belt options. So, right now at the moment, it's the tactical one. You can see you've got two big slots. Well, one, two big slots there, two at the back, some small for ammo, small for ammo, and then one for like an SMG, I think. So, obviously, the classic one back in the day um, utility belt. Wow, now that's pretty cool. That is really cool. So, you can. Have all your ammo. Oh, I try to follow it, but I can't. That is actually really, really good. I wish I'd had that belt for that ancient gun. That's so cool. Actually, what else have we got? So you got two of them as well. So you could have your dual wielders in there. And then I'd imagine, 100% sure, but... Yeah, you could quick load them like that. You can't reload them. <laughs> is, it, is it even worth it? <laughs> yeah! Um, Desperado. So that seems to have two there, two there. Ooh. There's quite a few medium slots there as well. Wow. Wow, wow, we were. And then. Pack rat. Huge amounts of small ones. This is so cool, all these different layouts. Tactical MK2. It's got a few small ones here. And then you've got a big one there. So you can have SMGs and pistols along there. With your ammo there. And then maybe a rifle on that side. And then concealed carry. And you have no idea but I guess that's just 
these three guns. We got anything behind us? Nope. Here. Yeah. Definitely think. Is it that one? That one's the coolest at the moment. I do like some other ones, but I do feel that that one would just not set you up for a good time for shooting for quite a while there, wouldn't it? Literally quite a while. So guys, that's all I got time for today. Thank you so 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 much for watching. I really really appreciate all your likes, your comments, uh, telling your friends and family about the channel. It really really does help it grow, and I'm so 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 humbled. If you did like the video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up, and if you really liked it. Why not subscribe? And I'll see you soon.